Hey everybody! So I know that I have been a little bit slow to upload videos over the past couple weeks because I have been really focusing on my courses and things like that and trying to wrap up the quarter, but I thought I would come in with a quick video for you guys just to flip through my September A5 planner because I thought it was such a cute setup. It's actually the first time I've used this polka dot A5 binder from Carpe Diem. This was a friend of mine, a gift from a friend of mine named Yasmin and I sincerely appreciate that. And I will link her YouTube channel. She's a fellow author, a New York Times bestselling author, and she has a YouTube channel here as well. So for the pen I've been mostly using this month, it's another Villa Beautiful pen. So similar to Pen Gems or Swarovski, this is another company that has the sort of gemstone style pens. And I first discovered these from a YouTuber here called Jen Ross, uh, Pretty Neat Living. Many of you probably know her. She's amazing and she loved these pens and I was like, okay, I've gotta try them, they're so cute. And I really, really love the way they write. And so I've been kind of buying them every once in a while when I see one that I love. And I had to grab this all black one and it kind of goes with everything. <laughs> As usual, the main part of my setup is from the digital dash box with Planner Press. And so this is a download that you can sign up for a monthly subscription. It's maybe a little bit less than $10 a month. And it comes with a ton of these dashboards and things that you can print in all different sizes. And I actually have a video coming up for you guys that I've already recorded showing you how I set this up. So that'll be going up hopefully later this week as well. It's just taking you through the process of how I print and cut everything and laminate everything for my A5 binder. For those of you that struggle with A5 size, hopefully this will be super helpful. But her digital dash box comes with more than just the A5 size. It has like letter size and T TN sizes and you can go to her site and see like all the different sizes it includes but it has lots of little things you can print out and I love it because it allows me to change things up a bit. I also bought some stuff from Planner Press to use in my setup and so I'll show you some of those new things and a lot of this will be stuff you've seen before if you've watched my setups. So over here I have this Chanel bow. I think I used this last month too from Scheduled Planners. I also have this little um, moon and stars paperclip from like Moonshine Sticker Co. I think I'll link her shop below. She included that as a freebie with the order. And then underneath all of this, basically, well, that doesn't wanna come out as easily, but part of the digital dash box this month was what she calls a vision board. So instead of printing the whole vision board and laminating it, I printed each individual, or I cut out each individual picture and laminated it to use as the little side pockets here because I didn't really have anything else to use and I think it turned out fine. This little um, paper clip that says, Sarah, you can get customized with any color that you want. And this is from a planned design. I'll also link her shop down below. And then I have this little Hello Kitty shaker. <laughs> it's just a little shaker sticker with her in a Sunday ice cream sundae. And I just kind of stuck that on there for fun for the month. Then the sticker pouch. So this is a pouch that you should be able to print and then cut out and put side by side or back to back and laminate. And this time I tried it twice and I still could not get it laminated right. It's like, this is not a problem with the digital dash box, but a problem with my laminator. And I've been through a couple different laminators. I'm using the Scotch brand laminator right now and it still just doesn't get close enough. So then even if I'm cutting far enough away, sometimes it still makes things open like that. So I didn't actually get to use it except for some decoration. But if you guys have a suggestion for a better, like an even beefier, really good laminator, let me know. I've tried the Amazon basic ones and I've tried the Scotch laminating one and both of them have been a disappointment to me. I would love to find a good laminator that can do the 10 mil sheets, so let me know. But it was a cute little bow pouch, I just didn't laminate it correctly. These so cute little transparent page flags from Planner Press, these are something new in her shop. Hey you guys, so I am actually popping in right now as I was editing because I realized I forgot that I have a Planner Press coupon code that I can share with you guys. So here's the other colors of the Planner Press Duet 
page flags that are so beautiful and really neutral. And she also has a ton of vellums and other planner accessories. You guys have seen before that I've shared the different um, like A5 binder uh, side tabs and different things like that. So there's a ton of amazing stuff in her store, including sticker kits and everything you can imagine. And she gave me a code to share. So it's Heart Breathing's blog 15. And you can just enter that when you check out and you get 15% off pretty much everything in the store. So I am going to be part of the planner launch for planner presses new gorgeous leather legacy planners that are coming out these are a5 binders and you guys know how much I love those so those will be coming out soon and the code will not work on those but it works on pretty much everything else in the store so please enjoy that I hope you get some good stuff be sure to tag me if you do purchase a few things from the store also I wanted to let you know that as I was grabbing links for this video to show you the link for the planner that I'm using this month this carpe D speckled dot planner I saw that it's on sale for only ten dollars I don't know how much the shipping is over there but ten dollars for the binder is a really good deal because I think it's normally 40 so wanted to mention that as well all right back to our planner setup I also just took a photo of our family at Disney since this is a Disney themed setup and this was from uh, gosh, two years ago, September, when we had to evacuate Charleston. And my son said, why don't we just go to Disney? And Florida was not getting hit by the hurricane at that time. So we just took off and went to Disney for a couple of days. And it was our evacuation vacation. And we made the most of a rough time and had so much fun. So I just printed this out, laminated it and put it back here so I can just remember that good time that we had as a family because that was like such a fun trip. Moving on to the setup itself, this is probably my favorite of the dashboards and I always try to pick the one that I think will look like the most colorful or the prettiest in the front and I love this one with all the like Walt Disney balloons and you've got a Minnie and a Mickey balloon with the fireworks and everything and then she's carrying a Louis Vuitton bag. This is a Louis Vuitton Neverfull and it's kind of on my wish list right now, not the like I forget what they call the the white and gray but I want the like traditional brown one and the one that's got the signature logo but I want this bag so it's kind of like works as a vision board as well on the back I did the bibbidi bobbidi boo this is probably one that could be foiled but I don't have a laser machine so or a foiling machine this is a ass kicker sweetie that my husband drew for me probably more than 10 years ago. So that kind of carries with me from planner to planner. I have these Webster's pages uh, inserts that you can put two by two photos in. So I have photos of my children and my family. So this is one of the new vellum decorative sheets that I got from Planner Press. There's gonna be a lot of Planner Press love in this particular one. She didn't send me these or anything. I just purchased them and I love them. So this one says no pants club and it's just so cute. I feel like I've been in the no pants club a lot since this pandemic started. So let me know in the comments if you feel the same way. <laughs> um, I have this little EC heart paper clip that I've been using just to kind of add a little bit more metallic look to the notes here and then so this is part of my own hb90 planner where i have a lot of cute quotes and things like that but i just have the yearly overview 2021 and so on so that i can see the dates i don't usually write on this i just use it for reference and then i also have some various notes at the beginning of every month i do try to pull out the old notes and just leave fresh pages if i don't need them then this one is kind of a rose gold little Mickey here with the castle. And on the back, I've got some of the sticky notes for this particular dish dashboard, which is so cute. So the way she does these is you get a template and you just need white sticky notes and you put them onto the template. And I'll show you this when I do my full walkthrough of how to set up my A5 planner. But basically you print her design, which this time is a castle with the Mickey ears onto the post-it note. So all you need is white post-its and then you can reuse this design over and over, which I love. And it has the little doorknob from uh, Beauty and the Beast. Then another quote and all of my monthly spreads for the year. So this is 
all of them. And then I also have a little fold out A5 that I'm hoping to get again, this is for 2020. Um, but I think actually you can mostly just reuse these. The only difference is of course, there's not going to be a February 29th in 2021. Um, but I can probably just print this out again, since it's not like Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday specific. Um, so I probably will print it out again and just cover over the 2020 and the 29 of February and use it again. But I do need to go and set it up because we are about to enter Q4. So I need to set up all my dates and things. But you can see here, I was mostly using it as a tracker for when I go live, when I have courses, when I have virtual writing retreats and that sort of thing. I run on Coffee and Magic foiled journaling card also from Planner Press. And then here we have a girl in front of the castle that says, I like walk, long walks down downtown Disney. On the back, you'll see this one a little bit clearer later, but it's kind of the, it's a small world done in pastels with a bunch of sticky notes on it. And I actually have used quite a bit of these this particular month. Another one of my favorite things when she includes them are these side tab ones. So I'll show you in the video how I create these, but basically she gives you this part and then you use your laminator to create the rest of it. But this particular month one, is so cute because it has the two horses and then the um, Cinderella like carriage and then the castle and it just turned out so cute. Then you've got this kind of Gucci girl with her Starbucks and this Bright Ideas is another from last month's um, digital dash box. So this is another one of those white post-its that I was able to print on along with some others. So this was my 2020 vision board and I did it inside um, GoodNotes, which I'm not at all saying that GoodNotes is the best place to do uh, images and things because it doesn't have layers the same way something like Canva or Photoshop does. Like I can't put a picture in and then move it to the front. You have to just kind of, there's another way to work with it. If you guys want to see a process of how I created my vision board inside GoodNotes on my app iPad, let me know and I can do a video on that because I have just created a new one and I'm trying to get really focused in on what it is that I want to achieve before the end of this year. So I probably will be printing and laminating the new one and putting it just on the back side of this one because it's some of it is the same images, but most of it is a little bit different. Some Hello Kitty stickies as well as some of these transparent ones. And I haven't actually used these transparent ones yet, but I think they're cool. They're hard to pick up with my nails but they're see-through. So if you put them over something else and then you can write on top, it could be kind of cool, but I haven't ever actually used them. So they're just kind of hanging out here. This Beach Life is just a double-sided folder from maybe even a year ago in the digital dash box. And Savannah, if you ever watch this, which I'm sure you won't, <laughs> um, give us new folders. I would love to see a new folder um, because I've been using this one for quite a long time and it's just so cute and they're easy, pretty easy to make. I also have since pulled out some of my Halloween stickers. You can see I used a bunch of them last year, but there's still plenty left to use. So these are from Sweet Kawaii Design, all these Halloween ones and some from Wonton in a Million and Coffee Monsters Co. So I'm so excited to be getting into the spirit and the Halloween mood a little bit early this year, have to admit, I'm ready for it. Here's some more of those different styles of post-it notes from previous digital dash boxes that I still use. Here's the next divider. And then this is probably one of my favorite of the new vellums that I got. She has been through hell. So believe me when I say fear her when she looks into the fire and smiles and it's got an upraised kind of feel to it. And I just love that because I feel like we've all kind of been through hell a little bit this year. And I'm going through something this September, so actually coming up this next week, that will be the 20th anniversary of probably the worst thing that ever happened to me. So I feel like I can look back on this and on my vision and say, I made it through that and I am strong. So just using that as a little bit of you know, power for this month. One of the new things I just have gotten in and haven't fully decided how I'm even gonna use it, is this little 
pocket dashboard from Salty Katie Co. So it's got the little jelly paper and it's pre cut with the six rings. And then it also has a uh, pin loop on the side and it's stitched around. So you've got, it's like clear jelly with a pink clear jelly and a bunch of silver hollow stars. And I thought it looked so good behind this other vellum, which is what I love about vellum is it shows through to the back. So I'm not sure if I'm gonna put stickers in here or photos, but stay tuned. <laughs> and then I've got, um, this next one is a Disneyland one. So she's got her little Mickey sweater and a Disneyland ticket. And then just this bows I thought were so pretty for a back uh, backdrop with some more sticky notes and another like high heels girl. And then the quote that I used on the beginning of my September portion of my daily weekly planner is all we have to decide is what to do with the time that is given us, which is a quote from J.R.R. Tolkien. So then we get into my HB90 method, which is kind of the bulk of my planner, what I tend to use the most, which has a weekly dashboard where I decide my tasks for the month or for the week. And then I plan out my weekly tasks on a week on two pages spread. And then I have my daily pages where I plan out the day according to color code. And I usually will also mark an energy score, which is part of my goals for this quarter. And that is that. I also have a weekly review at the end. So I've got basically this past week is what I'm keeping this last little side tab on the, the little castle. I just keep it on the, like the weekly spread here. <laughs> so I can actually go through and work on some of these things that I didn't mark off. I am currently working on my Q4 plans. I paid the affiliates. Um, I started working on my October word count challenge. So these did not get done but I try to kind of keep my eye on this particular page because it does help me to see kind of where I am. So here it's Sunday when I'm recording this and hopefully when it's going up as well. So this gives me an opportunity to check and see how much of what I had planned to do did I get done. I didn't finish all of my exercises for the week. I never had time to set up this health bullet journal, which is making me wonder if I'm going to have time to keep up with it. So I might have to kind of change my plans with that. And I just fell way behind on my YouTube videos this week. So that gives me a good overview of the week rather than having to look at this, which is kind of like the overall weekly plan and try to figure out what got done, what didn't get done. I've been kind of experimenting with putting my writing in the weekly plan and leaving room for the sprints, but then I don't always have time to come back in or don't remember to come back in and fill it out. I feel like maybe what I need is a more dedicated place to keep track of my writing sprints instead of in this particular weekly spread. So I'm kind of thinking through that. If you're a writer and you're watching this, let me know how you keep track of your word counts. Do you do it digitally in a spreadsheet? Do you keep track of them at all? Um, or do you keep track of it in your planner? Let me know. So this was the weekly spread for the week and then my daily pages. And you'll see very quickly that I did a great job of keeping up with everything up until Saturday. And on Saturday and Sunday, I did not <laughs> do it. Sometimes I usually do try. I'm probably not going to bother with my weekly review this week either because I've just completed my entire quarterly review and I'm already starting to plan for Q1 or Q4 of the next quarter. So today I will be filling out week 13, which is the final full week of Q3. And I will be doing all of my planning and I will be recording a lot of that process. Now I don't keep the entire quarters of quarter worth of pages, daily and weekly pages in my A5 binder because there just wouldn't be space for all of it and it would bulk up my binder too much. So I just print out one month at a time. So right now I have September and then into the first week of Q4. And then as soon as that week is over, I will print out all of October and probably the beginning of November. And that way I just keep one month at a time in here and it makes it manageable. When I'm done with all of these pages, I put them, I just take these pages out, like just the weekly daily pages out and put them into another one of my extra A5 binders and I keep the whole year together there. 
some more of those printed post-it notes. Then I have a key. So this was something new that I tried in Q3 and I am planning to keep up with it in Q4. So this is a color coding system based on what I'm working on for the day in terms of my time tracking. And I have these cute little, um, just easy, simple round stickers that I printed from Hourglass Sticker Co. on Etsy. They don't come in sheets like this that fit here, but I had to kind of manipulate them inside my program to make them work just right. But now that I have it manipulated in the program, I've saved it so I can just reprint and cut so they fit perfectly in this little pocket. And I think it works really well. And I'm actually going to be kind of taking it up an extra notch coming up because I'm going to hopefully also have matching sticky notes on my Kanban board. So stay tuned for that. <laughs> and we're almost through. So I've got this um, coffee girl and see what I mean about how pretty the vellums can be when you put something pretty behind them. It just looks so nice together. And you guys will be seeing these new vellums probably in every setup for a while because I just am loving them. So here's that pretty, it's a small world pastel kind of dashboard. And then this again was the one with the girl holding the Disneyland ticket, but I just printed out and put one of my favorite pictures of our little family. This was before we had Evie. Um, Andrew was only about five years old, but this just makes me smile. It makes me happy. And so I put that on the back there and I love it. I'm probably going to keep that in my planner, but I need to make a new one, but with the baby now, but she's still too young to like stick out your tongue or make a funny face kind of thing. But maybe we can make her laugh more photos of the family. And then I do have this like a boss bookmark kind of just stuffed in here. It keeps kind of falling out though. Some little Hello Kitty stuff. I have been doing some work on my social media planner <sighs> and I keep it in my um, binder in two sections, one for Sarah Cannon and one for Heart Breathings. But I feel like the design still hasn't come together. It's still my hope that I'll have time to work on it in Q4 and get it out before the beginning of the year. So stay tuned for news on that. Just don't hold your breath, I guess. We'll, we'll see. I'm working on it as best I can. Then here's another look at that pretty bow dashboard with the same girl on the back. More photos of my book books, a kind of ideal life's vision scribble that I did at one point, which a lot of the things I had hoped for back then have come true since. And then this backing card here just has a few more of the post-its from before with some stickers shoved in the back. And I mostly like to keep one of my laminated ones in the back here so that the rings don't um, dig into the leather or fake leather in this case. So that is it, you guys. That is my full September planner setup. And it's actually only like a week before I'm gonna be setting up my October one, which I cannot wait for. I ordered a special um, Halloween kit from Coco Daisy and I think I did see that it shipped. So I'm hoping I'm gonna be able to use that to um, set up my Halloween sort of October setup. So stay tuned for that. And if you enjoyed this, please make sure that you leave a thumbs up down below, like and subscribe and make sure to comment and let me know that you enjoyed this. I also had some people saying that they would love to see more sort of voiceover plan with me. Several of you actually mentioned that this past week to do just my like weekly setup. And let me know if you would like to see those kinds of plan with me's more in the future, because that could be something I do sort of on Sundays more regularly. So let me know. And I've got my series Q and A part two coming up later this week, as well as hopefully that look at a five printing. And I will see you guys in my next one. All right. Happy Q4 planning. Bye.